Hey guys, so for this tutorial, make sure that you are on Python 3 because now we're getting into the part of the code where we're importing specific libraries from Python 3. And if you are on Python 2, these commands actually might not work. So either you're going to have to follow this course and try to figure out online how to translate these lines of code, some specific ones from Python three to Python two and make it work for yourself. Or I suggest upgrade to Python three and use Python three. If you are still having problems and you cannot figure out any way to get past them, then I will show you a very nice solution. And this will make your life really easy, though. I encourage local development more. There is an online solution and it's called c9.io. Okay. And let me just show you this very quickly. So this is just to make sure that you don't have any problems. Like worst case scenario, nothing is working for you. Guaranteed this is going to work. So essentially on c9.io, you just go on this website and create a workspace. So you can create any workspace you want. I'm just going to call it um, whatever. And let's call it test. And pick Python as your template. Um, or you don't even have to pick a template. You could leave it blank. It's totally up to you. So I'm just going to pick Python and then hit create workspace. And then it just creates a full on working environment for you. So you can code in here. You have a terminal that works perfectly, just like a Linux or a Mac or an Ubuntu system. And you won't have any development problems, though. One problem might be that if your internet connection isn't working, you're kind of screwed. You can't do anything. But for the times that your internet connection is working, it works. And another great thing about this is that if you switch from your laptop to your MacBook or you switch to your Windows, whatever, wherever you go in the world, you can even go to a different country, your programming environment will be the same because it's on the cloud, it's on the internet. So on my left side, you see there's some folders. You can create your own folder if you want. You can create um, a file. So like here, I'll just hit that plus sign, do new file. I'll just say uh, print hello world. And I will hit command S to save it. And I'll just call it hello world. Make sure to give it that extension .py. And for the folder, it says it's storing it in the home folder. Well, how about we just create a folder and call it Python code? Whoops. What happened there? Oh, it's smart. It doesn't allow you to actually do. Um, it doesn't allow you to actually rename things. So or sorry, it doesn't allow you to put spaces. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to create Python here. Uh, code. What's happening there? Forget all that stuff. Just put Python code. Do it right the first time, basically, is what it's saying. Unable to rename the project folder. OK, no worries. We're not trying to rename the project folder anyways. Uh, let's hit save there. Whatever. I don't know where it put the freaking code. OK, right there. So you have new folder dot one and the code is in there. And now to run it, I can just hit run and it runs it. But again, I want you to practice with command line. So go over to your command line, hit LS, see where you are. And here it shows me that I am in my if I do PWD. It shows me that I'm in my workspace. So let's just go to new folder. Whoops. Uh, period one. And that's there. There it is my hello world. So I just hit Python. Hello world and run it. OK, so nothing is working. You need Python three. Go here. Then you should be able to essentially even do something like if you hit Python, so before I move further, I just wanted to point out that when you go to sign up at c9.io, if I remember correctly, they ask for your credit card, but they don't actually charge you anything. It's to make sure that you are who you say you are and probably, I don't know. Uh, oh, and maybe it's easier for them to charge you uh, once you kind of get to the point where you need more space. In the start, you don't need that much space. You can just keep creating a new workspace every time you have to do something. And most of the projects will be pretty lightweight. 
But if you feel like you need more than a few gigabytes, then you can, you know, pay them monthly and they'll give you uh, some space. But again, it's free. You just have to put your credit card number in in the start. Now, if you do Python, it'll take you to Python 2. And if you want to go to Python 3, then it's just as simple as Python and then type in 3. Okay. And that's it. So I did it essentially right here at the bottom. Hopefully you can see it. The screen is not too small. And that's how you access Python 2, Python 3, kind of everything works in C9.io. So I love it. And you really should love it too. All right, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next video.